Yeah. All right. We are live from the quarantine. It is Tuesday, guys, and Tuesday is our strength day. Um, with our Tuesday and Thursday um, uh, uh, circuits, what we do is um, our B circuit, so our A circuit is going to be mobility. Our B circuit is going to be consistent um, each Tuesday for the month, each Thursday for the month. And then for our uh, C part of our circuit, we're going to be doing a Tabata strength, but we'll switch up those exercises in that part. And I will very thoroughly describe everything that we're doing at all moments. Um, so for this, um, for this uh, circuit, what we'll need is like either a chair or a couch or a coffee table because we're going to be doing our pistol squats. Everybody loves those pistol squats. And then we're going to be doing some explosive push-ups. So you'll be able to use your chair, your couch, or your coffee table for those explosive push-ups if you're not doing strict push-ups. Uh, for our Tabata strength, we're going to be doing some uh, Bul Bulgarian split squats. So we'll still need that chair. Then we're going to go into chair dips. Um, so we're going to be working on our triceps. Then we're going to go into um, a side bridge glute situation. Um, so we won't need anything for that. We got some curls. So if you have some dumbbells, fantastic. If you have a um, if you have a book, we can use that. Um, if you have a cat, we've been using cats. If you have a cat that does not mind to be exercised with. Um, and uh, then we're going to do some triangle crunches and some front raises, again, with a band or a book um, or uh, weights if you have them, all right? So, guys, for um, Training for Warriors, we always start off with a, with a story of the day. And one of the reasons why psychologically we do that is because when you're, when you're coming into the gym and you have all these stressors like traffic and, and work and you know, kids or you know, whatever you got going on in your life, we have you come into class and then we start off with the story of the day just to have you be here now. And we want you to be here now during the entire class. Um, and it's the same thing with you being at home right now. So we want you to kind of leave everything else. We want you to be here. Um, but uh, the story of the day is a little different today. We're not going to tell a, a hero story like uh, we have been for the month of, of April. I had to remind myself really quickly that it was the month of April. Oh my gosh. Anyway, um, but uh, I just wanted to let you know that yesterday, uh, Josh and I did the Training for Warriors passport and we did the workout with Training for Warriors Doylestown, Pennsylvania with coach Mike Subs. And it was super, super fun. Um, know that if you, hi Bill, there you are. Um, know that if you um, do these other workouts with other dojos, it's gonna be slightly different, you know? Um, with the workouts that we're doing, we're doing the workout with you the entire time so that you can watch us, you can watch our form. Um, the way Mike was doing it is he would give a demo and then he would watch everybody on his screens and he would try to give feedback like through text to each individual person. Um, so it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, Mike is also um, not able to be at his dojo, so he's doing his workouts from his garage. He has a very, very, very pregnant wife um, and a four-year-old child. And um, the, the child was also uh, in the workout and it was super fun, super chaotic. Also, Mike's mom was on the workout. She was up in one of the tiles and uh, Mike is hilarious. He just kept going, ma, ma, what are you doing, ma, you know? And uh, it, was, it, was pretty, it was pretty fun. But um, if you get a chance to look at that calendar that we sent out, Check and see if there's like another workout you can do. You can do a workout in Dubai. You can do a workout in Berlin. You just click that link and uh, and um, and go to that go to that um, that workout. Now on the link there should be a password because you're probably going to have to add in a password, um, which is like a, a, a numeric password. So uh, just be prepared to to look for that. And uh, Bell and Reba, if I have not sent that out to you yet, I will get that out to you. But um, there are training for warriors all over the world. There's, they're in 30 different countries. Um, there's like 300 different locations. There's a bunch in Finland. Um, you can do a workout in Berlin, in uh, Belgium. Um, anyway, so that was, that was really fun. And I just wanted to share that, that experience with you guys. Um, so when we start off our workouts, we're always going to start off with some mobility because we want to get get our muscles all warmed up and loosened up. Guys, we're going to start off with our hip circles. So what I want to do is I want to be in this quadruped position. So my shoulders are over my wrists. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my knee to my elbow. I'm going to have it come out to the side in a 90 degree angle. I'm going to reach up and back and back down. I'm going to bring my knee to my 
elbow out to side, up and back and down. So I'll face this way. So what you're doing is you're drawing a really big circle with that knee, trying to get full range of motion with that hip. We're gonna go five times forward. This is about my fifth. And then I'm gonna bring it back the other way. So I'm gonna bring my leg up and back, out to side, to my elbow and down. Trying to get those hips to warm up. Five big circles. Nice. All right. Now we're going to take that same leg and we're going to do our fire hydrants. So again, that leg is at a 90 degree angle. I'm lifting that knee up. I'm trying to keep my hips level, keeping that belly button pointed down to the ground. We're going to do 10 of these. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. We're going to do those hip circles on the other side. To the elbow, out to side, up and back and down. Nice, big, smooth circles that you're drawing with that knee. Five forward. This is three. This is four. This is five. Now we're going to take it back the other way. Up and back, out to side, to the elbow, and down. Whoo! I am feeling sitting in my chair for most of the day. Ah, trying to get those hips to loosen up. All right, after you've done five, we're going to do 10 of those fire hydrants. Again, belly button pointing down to the ground, keeping those shoulders over those wrists, feeling that glute activate as you bring that leg up. I think this is five. Get me a little pause at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna go into our half kneeling arm circles. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring my one leg forward. My shoelace of my back foot is pushing into the ground. I'm gonna bring my hips slightly forward. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach with this arm of the leg that's down. I'm gonna make sure I keep my rib cage down. I'm gonna extend my arm up out of my shoulder now I'm gonna rotate my hand and my shoulder back as I reach back. And now my palm is facing up as it comes back. I'm gonna reset, palm facing up, rotating that arm and that shoulder towards your screen, rotating that hand to the opposite wall, reaching, reaching, reaching. Feeling that shoulder warm up and down. Switch it out to the other side. All right, pelvis is slightly forward. Squeezing that glute, pushing that shoelace into the ground, reaching forward, rib cage down, arm extends. Now I'm gonna rotate my hand toward you guys. Now I'm gonna rotate my hand so that it's facing up to the ceiling, coming back down. Reset, palm up, palm turns towards you. Now my palm turns towards the other, other wall as my, ro as my shoulder rotates at the same time. Coming back down, there we are. Guys, now we're gonna go into our I, our Y, our W, and our T's. So what I wanna do is I wanna hinge at my hips. So I'm pulling my butt to that back wall. And what I'm doing is I'm keeping my chest really flat, really straight. So I'm not gonna curve my back. I'm not gonna lose my lats. I wanna stay in my lats, really activate these muscles here. And I'm gonna go into my eye. So my eye is, my hands are, my palms are facing into each other. 
and I'm gonna bring my arms up next to my ears and back down. Arms next to my ears and back down. Keeping my head in a neutral position, so trying not to crank my neck up. I know you're probably trying to look at your screens, but if you can, keep that neck in a neutral position. We're gonna do 10 of these. Four. Five. I want you to feel that tension in the arms. Hopefully you feel your hamstrings activate, all right? As you're in this bent hinge position. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now our Ys are very similar. Let's go ahead and reset. Stand up for a second. Shake it out. I'm going to hinge back over at that hip. And now my hands are going to come out to about a 45 degree angle to the side and back down. A little bit more of a diagonal and back down. Three. Four. Give me a pause at the top. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Hopefully you're feeling that in that hamstring, guys. All right. Now we're going to go into our W's. So for my W, I'm in that same hinge position. I'm bringing my elbows together. I'm bringing my hands together. And then I'm going to bring my arms out to the sides like I'm opening up a book and I'm coming back down. Now with this, see how my arms are, my hands are staying at the level of my shoulders and my elbows are up? Coming back in. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna go into my T's. So for my T's, same exact bent position, palms facing in, coming directly out to the side. All right, give me that pause at the top. I'll show you what this looks like from the side. Just right out there, right out from those shoulders. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys. Next, we are going to go into our skill strength phase of our workout. So we're going to be doing pistol squats and explosive push-ups. So for my pistol squat, the progression with this is I'm gonna stand here either at my chair, my couch, my coffee table, whatever you have to sit on. I'm gonna extend out one leg and then I'm gonna sit down, all right? I can put both feet on the ground and then I can stand back up again. So I can extend that leg, sit down, put that leg back down and up. So the progression with this is, if that's easy for you, you're gonna stick out that leg without falling over you're gonna to touch your surface and then you're gonna come back up again, all right? Trying to keep that leg out straight the entire time. So extending that leg, coming down and up, all right? So let's go ahead and let's do three more on each side just for our warm up. all right? So that was my third on the one leg. Coming up, coming down. Coming up, do one more on this side. There we go, all right. Should be feeling that in those quads, guys. Really squeeze those glutes to help you come up. Maybe try to find a spot on the wall to help keep your balance. Now we're gonna go into our push-ups. So the progression with the push-ups, if you're not used to doing push-ups, is we always wanna do it from an elevated surface. Push-ups, you're only lifting about 65% of your body weight which is why we never do kneeling because it's really hard to progress out of that and get stronger from it. So say for instance, this is my coffee table or my countertop. I'm gonna have my feet together. My legs are really on, they're really tight. My butt is slightly raised. 
if I drop my butt, that means I've lost my abs. So I want my butt slightly up to keep those abs engaged. I'm gonna bring my chest all the way down to the surface and up. Chest down to the surface and up. Now with this, guys, be really careful with those shoulders. So when you're, when you're coming down and up, you wanna have your elbows either in tight or at a 45 degree angle. You never want your elbows out here because you're putting too much of a strain on your shoulder, all right? If you're doing a strict push-up from the floor, same exact thing, except you wanna make sure that you touch your chest to the floor and up, all right? So in order to do our explosive push-up, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna come all the way down and I wanna pop off my surface. Now again, if you're not used to doing push-ups, I just want you to work on your push-ups. Don't add the explosion in there. If you're used to doing push-ups, go ahead and do the explosive part, all right? So go ahead and give me three more of whichever version you're doing. All right, and then end on the down. So for this circuit, what we're gonna do is six sets. We're gonna do five reps of each. So we're gonna do five pistol squats on the right, five pistol squats on the left, five explosive push-ups. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch the clock and we're gonna rest for exactly 45 seconds. Guys, the rest is just as important as the work in order to stay stronger for that next time that we do that set, all right? So, we're gonna go into it. We're gonna start with our pistol squats. Five on the right, five on the left, or however, whichever side you wanna start with. Two, three, four, five, switch it out, one, two, three, four, five, nice, all right, got my explosive or my regular push-up, two, three, four, five, and watching the clock for 45 seconds. All right, so hopefully you have some water nearby. Let's grab that. Super important that we drink water during our circuit. We wanna stay hydrated. We have about 15 seconds left before we're gonna go into round two. Yeah, I am feeling this, guys. All right, let's get going. Pistol squats, again, if you're doing the progression and it's hard for you to keep that leg out straight the entire time, put it down on the ground, stand up, just lower yourself. That is super fine, all right? So that's five on the one side, coming back down and up, down, up two, three, Four, five, power push-ups, power push-ups. Here we go. Feet together, knees together. Everything's on, guys. Everything's super tight. Your body is one solid unit. All right, five of those. 45 seconds of rest. <laughs> Josh is amazing. He's an amazing helper. He always... Uh, sets up things for me like a clock, but then proceeds to do all of his exercises in front of it. So I can't really see what's happening, but that's okay. <laughs> Cause you just got to punt. <laughs> no, I was looking at that clock and then you turned on that clock. <laughs> and I did, it was 45 seconds rest. God, anyway. This is constant, guys. This is constant. Josh and I. All right. We have five seconds left. Then we're going to go into round three. Round three. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Switching it out. One, 
two, trying to keep that chest up, three, four, five, woo, back into the power push-ups or explosive push-ups, two, three, four, five, all right, 45 seconds of rest, woo, There is something about those pistol squats, guys. Ooh, it makes me feel alive. <laughs> All right, we've got 30 seconds left. If you ever want to do an active recovery stretch while you're resting, that's fine. One of the ones that we do in here is our walking quad stretch, where I bring my knee underneath my hip. I reach up, I feel this stretch here. Take it to the other side, feel that stretch. If you do not feel like doing an active recovery stretch, that's fine too. All right, going back into it. Round four, guys. Pistol squats. One, two, three, four, five. Switch it out. One, two, three. Four, ha ha, five, yes, oh, I feel the shake, ah, here we go, boom, two, three, four, five, 45 seconds of rest, woo, another active recovery that we can do, Let's come back into that quadruped position. You can do five fire hydrants on the right. Four, five, you can do five on the left. It's up to you. If you just need that time to rest, that's fine. Just remember that at Training for Warriors, we never rest sitting down. We never rest like this. We either rest with our arms up or in superhero position. Going back into it in three seconds, guys. Here we go. One, two, squeeze those glutes. Three, four, five. Yes, switch it out. One, two, three, four. Five, yeah, power push up. Again, guys, don't lose those abs. Don't let that butt drop. Keep that butt up, down and up. Try to get those hands off the surface. If you're doing that progression, four, five. All right. Ah, you got this. Two more left. That was our fourth. We're going on to our fifth. Ha 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 ha. Right, Josh? Is that correct? Did they run it in sets? All right. It's easy to lose track, guys, when you're physically exerting yourself. Woo! I am not going to forget to grab some water, though. All right. Going back into it. We got about five seconds left to rest. Guys, you got this. Halusa! Halusa! Come back down. One, two, three, four. Lock out that knee at the top. Five, yes. Other side. One, woo! Lose my balance. Two. Three, four, woo, five, yes. All right, push-ups, power push-ups, whichever version you're doing, make sure they're perfect. Make sure you're sticking with your form. Maybe you're just getting used to doing push-ups. Maybe the five is really hard. 
then only give me three. Three is fine as long as they're good. Maybe you can only give me two as long as they're perfect. We just don't want any crappy versions of any of this stuff, guys, okay? We're resting, and then we're gonna go on to our last set. All right, so guys, we have about 15 seconds left of rest. Then we're gonna go into our last set. Rest so at Training for Warriors, when we're on our last set, somebody yells out last set, and then we all respond with best set because we want our last set to be the best. We don't want it to be crappy. We want that to be the set that imprints in our mind that was the best one, okay? So, we're gonna go into it in about five seconds. Last set! Coming down and up. Two, three, four, five. All right. Coming back down. One, switching it out. Two, three, four, and five. Awesome. Going back into our power push ups or push ups. Two, three, four, five. All right. Also, guys, if you're just getting used to doing some of these exercises with us, you can always take longer rests. Say we're doing six sets, maybe you only do five, maybe you skip a set just to recover so that you're not super gassed the entire time, all right? So listen to your bodies when you're doing this. Okay, next, we're gonna go into our Tabata strength. So what a Tabata is, is a Tabata is a series of exercises that we do back and forth. We're gonna do 20 seconds of work, work, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of work. So we're just gonna do those two exercises back and forth for four minutes, all right? We have three different sets of exercises that we're gonna be doing, but I'll make sure I demo each one right before we get into it, okay? So for my Bulgarian split squat, I'm gonna need that chair surface, that couch, that coffee table. If you have a pad, or if you have a pillow, that would be great. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my shoelaces onto that surface, that elevated surface. I'm gonna hop my foot a little bit forward and you'll, you'll be able to gauge on yourself like how far forward your, your leg needs to be. Then you're gonna come all the way down and then you're gonna stand up. And I want you to squeeze those glutes, bring that pelvis forward at the top. I want you to come down and up. So get that really, really nice stretch, guys, in that quad as you're coming down. But this is the leg that has all the strength. Your supporting leg is the leg that raises and lowers you. This leg you're just getting a nice stretch with, okay? So why don't you go ahead and give me five on each side right now just to feel what that feels like. Switch it out. Put that shoelace or the top of your foot onto that surface. Hop that foot forward so you have a little bit of room to come down and up. Coming down and up. Give me th three more of those. Four and five. Now guys, you wanna make this harder? Grab a pair of dumbbells if you have them. And you can use those with this, all right? So it would be the same thing, just bringing that foot onto that surface, coming down and up. It's gonna give me a little bit more resistance. Then I'm gonna go into my chair dips. So for my chair dips, what I wanna do is have my butt really close to the edge of my chair. All right, I can have my legs either at a 90 degree angle. If I wanna make it harder, I'm gonna put my legs out. I'm gonna come down, feel that in those triceps, come back up again. Really lock at those arms at the top. Coming down and up. So what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna be really far forward. I don't wanna put that kind of strain on my shoulders. Go ahead and give me five of these. See what it feels like to have your legs out maybe. See how much harder that is? All right. So we're all set up for our first set of Tabatas. I'm gonna go ahead and set the clock. 
20 seconds of work with the Bulgarian split squats. We're only gonna do one leg. Then we're gonna do our chair lips, lifts, dips, sorry. <laughs> and then we're gonna go back into our Bulgarian split squat, but we're gonna switch it out to the other leg, all right? Okay, guys, get ready to go. If you got your weights, grab your weights. If you're just doing this without weights, that's fine. Starting in three, two, one, and we're going. All right. So again, guys, we're not counting with this because we're just doing 20 seconds of work. All right. I want you to feel that really nice stretch in that quad. You've got three seconds left. All right. Now we have 10 seconds to transition, 10 seconds of rest. I'm gonna go into my chair dip position, making sure I keep my butt close to that surface, coming down and up. Make sure you're breathing, guys. I want good, deep breaths with this. Really feel it in those triceps. Two, one, switching back. Try to remember which leg you started with because now we're gonna do it on the opposite leg. And we're going. Whew. Squeeze that glute at the top. All right, feel that leg lock out. You might see that my knee is coming over my ankle. That is fine, it is no problem. All right, switching it out to our chair dips. Going into it. I'm gonna straighten out my legs, get a little bit more work with this. All right, guys. And resting and switching it out. Going back to our original leg that we started with. And we're going. Here we go. You guys got this. Oh, pistol squats. Bulgarian split squats. Never felt more alive. Okay, three, two, one. Back to my chair dips. Again, you can have those legs at a right angle or you can have them out straight, making it a little bit harder. And we're going. Squeeze those triceps, guys, at the top. Feel them lock out. Get those arms straight. All right, four seconds left. Here we go. All right, guys, this is your last set of each of these exercises. Last set. Last set. All right, going into my Bulgarian. Really feeling that stretch in that quad on the bent leg, squeezing that hip forward. And three, two, one. Last set of chair dips. All right, three, two, one. Going for it. Ha, 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 ha. Hello, triceps. Good morning. Ah, thank you for lifting my body up and down as I do this workout. Woo! Three, two, one. Yes. All right, guys, grab water. We're gonna have about 90 seconds of rest. While we're resting, I'm gonna go into the next set of Tabatas. First, I'm gonna grab some water. So, even for our more seasoned warriors, I'm not sure if we've done this with you guys before. This is called an ISO hold glute med side bridge. Actually, I think we're gonna take the ISO hold out of it because we're just gonna do dips with it. But what I wanna do is I wanna have this knee on the bottom. So if you need to grab a mat, grab a mat for that knee. 
the shoulder is over this elbow. This, uh, my top leg is out straight. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach my hip up to the ceiling as high as I possibly can. I'm gonna touch down, I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna touch down, I'm gonna come back up. Now, if you're Sarah, you're gonna say, Bootsy, you're fooling me. This is just a side plank. And it's actually really working this glute medium right here because we're keeping this knee on the ground and we're pushing up from that knee. So you should be able to get a little bit more height with this than you even do with your side planks, possibly. All right. And then we're gonna switch it to the other side when we're doing our circuit. And then for this one, we're gonna do curls. So, hey Josh, yeah. would you bring me that precision nutrition book that's up on the top shelf? So if you guys have weights, I want you to have your feet more narrow. You're gonna have your palms facing towards me. Your elbows are in tight. You're gonna come up and down. Now, when you're doing your curls, I want you to make sure you get that full extension at the bottom. I don't wanna see three quarter curl curls. I want it fully down at the bottom and then back up. You're squeezing your glutes the entire time to keep the pillar of your body straight. Now, say for instance, you have a heavy book and you don't have, and you don't have dumbbells. You can do the same thing with that. Feeling those muscles really tense as you do this. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start with that, with that glute bridge from the side. Go ahead and lay down. This bottom leg is bent, my top leg is straight, my shoulder is over my elbow, and I'm starting in three, two, one, go. Up and down. If I wanna make this a little bit harder, I can also bring my arm up. But guys, I want you to get that really nice full squeeze at the top. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, got about three seconds left. All right, now we're gonna go into our curls. So if you have bleach bottles, if you have a kettlebell, if you have dumbbells, if you have a cat, whatever you have that is willing to work out with you, go ahead and grab that. Again, guys, the only other thing that I don't wanna see with this is I don't wanna see this kind of rocking motion with your body. I want your pillar of your body to be super, super strong. All right, getting those arms to fully extend. We're gonna go into our glute side bridge from the other side. Bottom leg is bent. Really, really lift those hips up to the ceiling. I'm gonna bring my arm up. It makes it a little bit, even though it's a tiny bit harder, it's a little bit easier for me. Really extend and pause at the top, guys. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right. Switching it out. Back to our curls. Yes. How fun is this? Ah, everybody loves curls. Here you go, guys. All right. We have about five seconds left of these curls. Two, one. All right, switching it out to the other side. Okay, going up and down, up and down. You could also lift that top leg. If you wanna make this a little bit harder. Ah, four seconds. Really squeeze those hips up at the top. Yay, curls, awesome. Love curls. Here we go, guys. And we're hitting it. Okay, we got about five seconds left. Full extension, give me full extension. Switching it out to the other side. This is my last set of each. Last set. Last set. Gonna lift that leg, that top leg. 
You might find this a little bit harder on that bottom knee. So you could always grab a pillow. Again, with these Tabatas, guys, if you feel really gassed, you could always skip one of the time circuit parts. Now, let's go into our curls. Ha ha ha. This is it for curls today. All right. Two, one. Okay, guys, for the next part, I'm gonna grab my mat because we're gonna be doing some ab work along with some arm work. So we're gonna do about another 90 seconds of rest. Grab my water. So I'll go ahead and demo this next exercise. This is a triangle crunch. So I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna put my ankle over my knee. My bottom leg is straight. I'm gonna put my hands behind my head. And then I'm gonna bring that straight leg into a bent position and I'm gonna bring my shoulder blades off the ground as I come into this crunch, all right? So what I'm not doing with this is I'm not twisting with it, all right? I'm just coming straight up, then I'm extending that leg down, coming straight up and extending that leg down. So as we're doing the circuit, you'll do left side, we'll do the other exercise and then you'll do the right side. Then I have my front raises. So if I have a really heavy dumbbell or a kettlebell, I can just use the one and I'm gonna bring my arms up to shoulder level and back down. So I'm really squeezing those glutes guys, bringing those arms up straight and then back down. If you have a really light dumbbell, you could always do two of them and back down, all right? If you don't have either of those, don't hesitate to use a pillow or a book, holding that book out in front of you and back down. Really, really squeezing everything. Everything is on. Extending those arms and back down. So guys, this is the last part of our Tabata. We're gonna be doing those two exercises. We've got about 30 seconds of rest left. Ha! All right. Guys, we're getting ready. Hopefully you have got all your stuff. I'm gonna start with that triangle crunch, getting that ankle over that knee, bringing those hands behind your head and we're going. Coming up and down. So I'm bringing my shoulder blades off the ground and then I'm coming back down. As my leg extends out straight, so does my torso. All right, feel those abs contract as you come up. All right, two, one, standing up, coming into my front raise. Three, two, one, front raise. Here we go. Slow and controlled, guys. On strength day, when we're doing these Tabatas, we're going slow, all right? Got about three seconds left. Josh is using a heavy kettlebell. Let's switch out to the other side for our triangle crunches. All right. And we're going. Get that nice contraction at the top, guys. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. Remember, you're not twisting with this. You're coming straight up, getting that knee to come towards you. Ha ha. Yes. Front raises. Getting those shoulders ready for bikini season. Here we go. Ha 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 ha. Nine seconds left. You guys got this, keep that pace slow. And switching it out to our other side. 
Wahaha. All right, here we go. Yeah. Holy abs, Batman. Hope you're feeling this. Get those shoulder blades down at the bottom, up at the top. Ha ha. Ah, here we go, and switching it out. Front raises. And here we are. Ah. Again, guys, if you're feeling gassed, go ahead and take off one of these sets. It's totally fine. We want you to build up to being able to do it. So be kind, be gentle to your bodies. This is my last set of each. Last set! That's it! And we're going. Squeezy, squeezy those abs, guys. Try to bring that knee in as tight as you can to your body. Ha ha. Try to get those shoulder blades up high at the top. Ah, all right. My last set of front raises. You got this. And we're going. Yeah. Feel that squeeze in those glutes. Don't neglect the power of the butt. Power of those glutes, keeping you stable, keeping you strong. And that was it. All right. So guys, go ahead and grab some home, uh, some water. We're gonna go into our homework, grab some homework. All right, guys. So for our homework, first part of our homework that we're gonna do are squats. So go ahead and do these with me. I'm gonna demo just really fast. I'm gonna have my feet pointed out. I'm gonna have my hips coming down beneath my knees, stand back up again, squeeze those glutes at the top. I'm trying to keep my chest as upright as possible so I'm not bending over with this, keeping that chest up, squeeze those glutes at the top. So we're gonna go do 20 of these. Three, four. Now I'm trying to get parallel with my hip to my knee or a little bit lower with it if you have a weight and you want to do weighted squats, you totally can do that. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right. The next exercise in our homework is going to be knee grabs. So I'm on the ground. My legs are straight. My arms are in tight to my chest. I throw my arms forward. I grab my shins. My feet go flat on the ground at the top. My shoulders come over my hips. I come back down. Throwing those arms forward. Use those shins, guys, as a tool to help you up. We're going to do 10 of these. This is five, six, seven. You can go faster than me. You can go slower than me. Go at your own pace. Nine and 10. Always finish on the down to make that last one count. Now we're going to go into our swimmers. So for my swimmers, I'm on my belly, pushing my shoelaces into the ground. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach forward. I'm gonna spread those fingertips out. I'm gonna have my head in a kind of a neutral spine, maybe just looking at a 45 degree angle in front of me. I'm gonna bring my arms in next, I'm gonna bring my hands in next to my rib cage. I'm gonna extend them out. Bringing those hands in next to the rib cage, extending out. Rising up in my torso as I pull those hands back. We're gonna do 20 of these. This is five, this is six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Woo! And I swear, that is it. <laughs> you did it. I'm super proud of you. These strength days, there's something. There. <laughs> Belle is excited. This is her first workout. Yay! <laughs> But um, check out those, check out the calendar, the passport around the world. See if there's a, um, one of the circuits that you want to, I'm sorry, one of the, um, one of the uh, dojos that you want to try, try it out at and uh, experience something different. We all have the opportunity to experience so many different things right now. And, um, you know, like this wasn't even available to us before all this craziness happened. So always trying to look for the good in the situation, trying to see what good we can find out of it. Um, I know that I have had a lot of friends who have said that one of the good things that has come out of all of this is that they are staying in contact with their family and friends even much more than before. Um, and so hopefully we keep up those lines of communication and support with each other, even when this is all said and done and behind us. But we are here to help you any way that we can to bring forth the warrior within. Look at these, look at these new peoples we got on here. We got Belle, we got Reba, this is awesome. Then we got people like Bob, Bob who's been here forever. Yay, Bob! Liking the beard, Bob. 